what is going on beautiful people welcome back to another video and if you are new here my name is val and welcome to my channel so today we're going to talk about five things that you should do when you're dealing with repetitive sin all right so you want to repent repenting of your sins and going to the most high and asking him for forgiveness and when you're repenting it's not only asking for forgiveness but you want to turn away from those sins you have to genuinely ask for forgiveness right we are not going to the most high and asking him for forgiveness but yet you're turning around and committing the same sins you have to genuinely want to change right you want to change your heart you want to change your mind because you want to become a better person right you want to repent and ask for forgiveness and turn away from those sins all right so you also have to pray staying in prayer staying connected with the most high and having an active prayer life right if you want to hear his voice you have to stay connected with him praying right laying everything down at his feet whatever it is that you're struggling with he can help you with that you can overcome those things with his help right you can overcome those things with the help of the holy spirit but are you seeking are you seeking that help are you going to him and praying right about what you're dealing with are you going to him and laying your frustrations at his feet that's what he's there for he's there to help you he's there to guide you don't feel ashamed and feel like you can't go to him and speak to him and pray about it right don't think that he's not going to hear your prayer right because you're dealing with sin that's what he's there for right he's there to help you we can't do this on our own so having an active prayer life and staying connected to the most high will help you if you're dealing with repetitive sin. So another thing that you can do when you're dealing with repetitive sin is fasting, right? There is so much power in fasting and sometimes people underestimate the power of fasting, right? People can get delivered through fasting. Um, prayers are answered through fasting, right? There's so much benefits when it comes to fasting. And Christ himself fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And there's so much power in that, right? If you're dealing with repetitive sin and you feel like you're dealing with the lack of self-control and you can't figure out why you keep falling for the same sins, why you keep committing the same sins, right? Fasting can help you get delivered. Fasting is a way to show that you're seeking the most high, right? And you're putting your body into submission and you're eliminating food and you're disciplining your body, right? Because you want to seek the most high. It's a different level of seeking. So if you're dealing with repetitive sin and you catch yourself in the same cycle of repeating the same sins and you feel like you just can't control it, right? You should definitely fast. You should learn how to have self-control and discipline. So when you eliminate the food and the drinks, you're putting your body into subjection, right? You're going to the most high and you're seeking him and it's just you and him, right? You're not worried about the food or the drinks that you're used to drinking and eating, right? You're just focused on him and prayer, right? You're putting your body into subjection. You're suppressing your body from things that you're used to eating on a daily basis and things that you're used to drinking. It's a different level of a spiritual connection with the most high, right? And you can also receive your breakthrough by fasting. So Fasting can help you if you're dealing with repetitive sin, all right? So if you're dealing with repetitive sin, you should also change your heart and change your mind. Renewing your mind and changing your heart. The Bible says that the heart is deceitful above all things. So you have to genuinely want to change. If you don't care about repenting, if you don't care about wanting to change, then this message is not for you. But if you have an issue and you feel like you're constantly dealing with repetitive sin and you want to change, you have to change your heart and your mind. Do you truly want to change? Do you truly want to overcome these sins, right? Do you truly want to have victory? Do you truly want a breakthrough, right? Do you just say in your mind that you want to overcome those sins, but you're not really putting in the work? Are you trying to change your heart? So you have to want to genuinely change your heart and renew your mind. So lastly, you have to have authority over your body, right? Putting your body into subjection and telling your body no, right? 
just because you may desire something or you desire to commit a sin doesn't mean that you have to do it, right? Same thing like fasting, just saying no, right? Putting your body into subjection, which is hard, right? It's not easy. And the body will want whatever it is that it wants, right? That's the flesh. We're living in the flesh, so you have to constantly tell yourself no, right? Whatever the enemy is putting in your mind, if he's telling you to commit a sin, God gave you that authority. And that's a beautiful thing, right? He gave you authority. You tell the enemy no. You hear the whispers in your ear to tell you to commit a sin, to tell you to sin against the Most High, tell him no, right? Say yes to the Most High, say no to the enemy, right? God gave you that authority for a reason. So I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video.